How do folks? This here is the old mountain man I'm talking at you from the backside of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Yeah, I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video. Of course, the last video I uploaded explained why. <laughs> but the update and the business talk and all that crap. But anyway, uh, I just got some thank yous to send out. I've been uh, working real hard on getting a computer up and running, and this is the HP ProBook 450. I don't know what went wrong with it, but I took the battery out of it. i uh, done a hard reset. It seems to be working great. I'm using it right now. You know, the, uh, well, there's nothing I could show you on, uh, on camera. Well, hell, there's the word pro book, <laughs> but it's kind of, you know, you got to tilt this way and that way to see it, but yeah, well, uh, anyway, thank you, Mr. Jeff Turlington, for your uh, very useful and kind Christmas present of the hand warmer and the, uh, the cigarette lighter with me and Little Bear's face. Faces on there, uh, yeah. I'm kind of got a little bear down here, and I'm I got my my head tilted down. You all you can see is about the bridge of my nose and my hat, and I'm patting on the dog. And, well, a little bear's been a busy dog the past few days, <laughs> past week or so. He's been held up with a female in heat. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, he got him a few battle scars from fighting off all the rest of the dogs. Trying to keep them away from her. Dog politics. If we all had it so simple as dog politics. If you can't eat it, play with it, or fuck it, then piss on it and go rest under a tree somewhere. Dog politics. Yeah, well, pardon the F-bomb for all you new people out there. But you're going to find out that I'm not a politically correct channel. Well, this is not a politically correct channel, and I'm not a politically correct person. And speaking of politics, ugh, one of my least favorite subjects. To, I'm thinking, a thought occurred earlier to me today that if we could just get rid of all the goddamn politicians... And just live as a peaceful bunch of human beings on this planet Earth. We'd be all right. Last thing we need is a bunch of politicians making up imaginary boogeymen to for so they can come up with a fucking solution. They being the politicians can come up with a solution to the boogeymen that they created. ISIS, Al Qaeda, all that shit like that. That's bullshit. It's made up. It's a bunch of imaginary bullshit uh, concocted by some alphabet agency in Washington or combination of alphabet agencies in Washington. What makes me think that? If they were a real terrorist group, wouldn't they sweep across America like a damn plague of locusts? Wouldn't they have the, the if they got all this damn money and funding from all these oil sheiks to take over America, wouldn't they hit us with more than a fucking pressure cooker in Boston? I mean, really, think about it, people. Fucking terrorists. <laughs> Shit. If a goddamn communist party known as the Democrats in Washington, and I'm sorry, mom and pop, that, you know, my grandfather, who happened to have been named after uh, our first president, George Washington. Of course, his last name was different. <laughs> but they took, yeah, oh boy. Anyway, they get rid of all these damn politicians. That making up all these problems, these imaginary problems, and 
and boogeyman and all the crap. Get rid of them. We'll go back to a tribal system. The chief system. How about that? Virginia? Virginia is just another provocation. That's exactly what it is. It's a provocation. It's to provoke the public to do something. Don't be stupid. Don't fall for it. It's a trick. If you go, go on over to Midwest Preppers uh, videos for uh, Midwest Preppers channel. I'll link his channel below or maybe he'll comment. He talks some real damn good sense. He reminds me whenever I uh, think about it. He reminds me of the main prepper. Main prepper being up in the state of Maine. Real good guy, real common sense fellow, lifetime veteran, good God. Main prepper, brother, if you see this video, which I don't know if you will or not, maybe somebody will show it to you, maybe they won't. Uh, please pardon the cussing in it. I hope you're doing all right. That traumatic brain injury stuff is healing up real good. and You'll be back with us. We need you. We need a voice of common sense and reason. You know, I'm grateful that Midwest Preppers popped up, but uh, the main preppers got more experience in military matters and how things actually work within that uh, particular governmental system, I guess you'd call it. It is a military industrial complex. Oh, Lord. The other day, I got a bit a horrible creeping feeling, and I just started loading magazines. No, not 10-round magazines. Not 20-round or 15-round magazines. 35 and 40-round magazines. Yep. Yeah. 35 and 40 round magazines full of SKS 7.62 by 39 millimeter ammo. Uh, nothing happened. I just got a creepy feeling, just started doing it. Things like that happen with me sometimes. Yeah, I was talking about thank yous a while ago. Oh my God, Stalking Wolf. Thank you for the uh, the deer antler. That's going to make me some money as soon as I can get them sold. Those are some real fine looking antlers pieces too. Um, my dog Little Bear wanted a couple of the scratched up ones, so I gave them to him. <laughs> he loved to gnaw on them. He likes to just sit back and gnaw on them. I guess it's all the calcium and other vitamins and minerals. And then Jeff, he sent me the hand warmer, the great big, the old time hand warmer a big song bitch about that tall and about like that thick i'm just gonna set this down and go get it. i hope nothing falls loose off of that thing oh, uh, Ah, there's that antler pieces. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, there's no return address for Stalking Wolf, so I can't send him something in return. That mail, maybe that'll change. We got each other's email address. But uh, this, I put some white gas or lantern fuel in it. Oh, there's that catalytic heating element in this well. But uh, if you look these things up here on YouTube, hand warmer, vintage or something. And down there on the bottom, yeah, it's got uh, USA patent numbers, US patent numbers. There's one, two, two US patent numbers and two Canadian patent numbers. And uh, it says here, J-O-N-E-G-I, hand warmer, uh, eight zero, and then Aladdin Manufacturing Company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. 
MPLS Minnesota, M-I-N-N. Yeah, by golly. Uh, I swear, I'm going to try to show this cigarette lighter somehow. There's a pan one right there. I filled that thing full of that daggum white gas and let it sit, and it stayed hot all night. Here's the lighter. Let's see. Get that up there. Right in there. There's me and little brother. See, I got my head tilted down a little bit. Right? <laughs> he could just be like that all the time. Wanting some attention. He's a, he's a good boy. He's the best canine pal I ever had in my life. And for 13 years old. And getting out there and. Oh, there goes that focus again. Got right about the 11 minute mark. Oh, well, it don't matter. It's a pretty good video, despite the fact that, the, you know, the lighting was all yellow around there and such. But we can't always make the most hot quality videos when you don't have them. You know, hold on, man, you're sinking into things. But yeah, I have great friends out there on uh, YouTube. You know, special shout out to Mr. Bruce for all his help. Uh, man, I got I got deer antler hair. There's probably I don't know how many forty-five dollar deer antlers. I mean, this is some fine antler. I mean, I'm just stacking it up. Look at that. That is. That right there, that long piece, that'd be the bottom. Right up there would be where I put that half inch thick fire steel, five inches long. And then we've got a smaller piece for the uh, three eighths. A little, sp a little uh, boy, a little two point, a little spike. It would be a spike if it's a single, single point. Oh boy, there's. There's some deer antler. Oh, man, this is elk antler. I think it's elk antler. Hmm. Yeah, I had to saw one of those pieces off. This is just a little bit uh, off. But I got it dressed up. Dressed up to where I can make a good fire steel antler. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of antler, seven pieces. Uh, those would be $45 fire building kits, not just a fire steel, not just a fire steel, yeah, hell, people all over YouTube is selling stuff, hell, even Suzanne Summers, that gorgeous little blonde babe from uh, that show Three's Company from years ago. She's got some stuff for sale. It's some kind of improve your digestive tract gut formula stuff. Hmm. Oh, well. I get along just fine without that happy horseshit. Uh, I got my own herbs and things that I put in my body to help counteract the effects of smoking and other garbage, other bad habits. Oh, Lord, it's so good to have my HP Pro book for 50 in working order for you know, the time being. But I am going to take it over to the Gadget Grave in Fort Smith and get it completely diagnosed. Find out what may, be, may or may not be going wrong with it. Get a couple of buttons replaced. Have some work done on the uh, electrical system in it. And just get it tuned up. Get it tuned up, get some things fixed up, because that is a gift that has, that I couldn't have possibly afforded to buy my own self. For myself, it's just something I couldn't do. It's like the Sony Cybershot camera that Mr. Bruce sent me. Uh, it was, he had it drop shipped directly from Amazon to the house. Uh, I'll never forget that man, and I will always be eternally grateful. If you're watching, Mr. Bruce, appreciate you. You ever need anything, want anything, something comes to mind that you cannot find, 
uh, let me know and I'll do my best to search it out for you. And if I can, I'll well, regret to focus again. If I can, then I'll have it drop shipped to your house, pay for it, and have it drop shipped to your house. Oh, Lord, where's my lighter? Yeah, I've been shuffling around here so much. I don't even find my big cigar it is. Let's see. Oh, good God, it almost slipped away from me. Ta uh, Regulator 308. Uh, wait for to focus again. Uh, thank you for the 20 bucks, man, that you sent me because I was out of coffee. I was out of tobacco, and it was so close to the first of the month that I did have to wait to go to town, but I bummed around here and asked a few people, hey, you got some? A few cigarettes to spare and a few spoons of coffee. Ugh. The only bad thing about having this nice place to live in is the bills are killing me. Hell, if I had like another three to four hundred, five hundred dollars a month, I could live comfortable. And I might even be able to put some more things away in the prepping supplies. I still ain't replaced all that filthy ass Augustine Farms food yet. Dear God, I swear, I make everybody on YouTube this promise before I ever put another product on the daggone YouTube for anybody to look at for prepping and survival purposes, I will most definitely use it myself. There we go again. <laughs> uh, you know, that little blurred thing just ain't bothering me so much right now, the way that blurs every now and then. Because I searched it on the internet, and it ain't no fault of the camera that Steve USMC No Tolerance sent me. It ain't no fault of anything. It's just the way this thing is. It, Microsoft, they just, uh, I don't know. They ain't figured out the bug, and it's been going on since 2014. I found old forums on Microsoft. I read for probably two hours trying to figure out how to work that glitch out, and there's just no way to work it out. I downloaded the uh, information, all the um, the software or whatever from Microsoft, downloaded that, still gets that little blur now and then, and I'll pause and I'll wait for it to straighten up and, and all that. Yeah, hey, it's just something you got to deal with now and then. Oh, boy. I've been wanting to make a video for a long time, but uh, there's a lot of stuff going on up here in the old Kasaba that's got to do with personal life and personal matters, uh, women, relationships, uh, family. Uh, sometimes I don't know what to do with them besides just say, you know, whenever you get over your whatever, you crawl up your ass, you know, then you can get in touch with me. In the meantime, just let me go through what I'm going through and don't try to help because only God can do that. Oh boy, all kinds of crap flies through my head about people in there wanting to help this way or that way uh, with life's problems, having me sit and spill my guts or something, and they tell me, well, oh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, really? I've had people come to me for relationship advice. I said, listen, I'm twice divorced. <laughs> you don't need to be coming to me for relationship advice. I know absolutely shit about relationships except one thing. Treat that person the way you want to be treated. Told a woman that once that I was with. She said, you should tr you should write a book, honey. And I said, well, what would that book be about? How to treat a woman in and outside the bedroom. I said, okay. Be a short book. 
In fact, I could point it out to you right in the Bible where I practice my relationship business with and as do unto others as you would have them do unto you or treat people the way you want to be treated, to put it simply. But <coughs> uh, it's, a, it's a heck of a thing. Have somebody tell you that you you want to, if you want to be treated with kindness, love, and respect, then you treat that person with kindness, love, and respect. Period. Be open and honest with that person. I'm the last individual on earth to be given advice, but that's some, I mean, sounds pretty good to me. People just put it into practice. Oh, well, we run up on 20 minutes of me babbling and saying thank you this way and that to folks. Talk about damn politics in Virginia and crap. Yeah, it's just one big provocation. They're trying to provoke. The politicians are trying to provoke the people into action instead of the other way around. You know, going over to the do's and don'ts of Virginia over on Midwest Preppers Channel. Check them out. Hey, the good guy. Got a lot of good comments in. And all, you know, like, uh, well, shoot, I'm trying to get this cursor to white, but it's not wanting to. Well, dang it. Got to make sure that stays plugged in, and that stays plugged in, and that stays plugged in, and that stays plugged in. There we go. There we go. Well, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and that you got your heart's desire for that holiday season. And that we all have a better New Year. Not just in America, but around the world. Yeah, folks. Let's hear the old mountain man. Very tired mentally and physically. Yeah. Just think about a woman. They always cross my mind. Mm -hmm. I think about being tired and exhausted mentally and physically and this way and that way. And all I can think is, you know, what a comfort it would be to just have that warm embrace of a mate. To take comfort in in this messed up time we're living in. Y'all take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Now, I don't just say that to hear my head rattle. Well, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get back to work on computers and fire steels and I get things done. Talk with y'all later. Uh, yeah.